and uh, now let's compare the previous uh, benign compound nevus with this superficial spreading melanoma. The epidermal melanocytic nests are quite irregular, however more importantly uh, we see superficial spreading of the atypical melanocytes to the upper portion of the epidermis. So let's look at all of these ugly cells, those are atypical melanocytes and they should be localized in the basal parts of the epidermis and not here. This is called pagetoid spreading or pagetoid spread of the melanocytic cells. The melanocytes are relatively large. Uh, the nuclei are not uniform and here we have the ugly mitotic figure. And here we have another one. In this part of the picture we can see that uh, some of the melanocytes are actually located inside of the dermis. So this is not superficial spreading melanoma in situ anymore. Uh, and this is invasive uh, superficial spreading a melanoma. Here we see the prominent chronic inflammation composed of lymphocytes and uh, all of these larger cells with melanocytic pigment in the cytoplasm, those are melanophages or macrophages with phagocytosed melanin. Superficial spreading melanoma has quite a good prognosis uh, if it is completely excised in comparison with uh, some melanomas associated with vertical type of growth. And uh, this is another example of malignant melanoma with a more prominent intradermal vertical growth. On the low magnification, we can see that the tumor is asymmetric. Part of the tumor is here, for example. It is not well circumscribed, so if we go closer, we can see that the mel melanocytes are here and here, and it goes far, far away from the center of the lesion to the periphery. It is not well circumscribed um, and circumscribed by the nice junctional melanocytic nest. And all of these melanocytes are quite large and atypical. Some of them are also localized in the upper portion of the epidermis, uh, which is so-called pagetoid spread. If we take a look at the center of the lesion, we can see that the intradermal component is not associated with maturation of the melanocytes. The melanocytes in the deeper portion um, and deeper parts of the dermis are still quite atypical and large. On the higher magnification, we can find quite a lot of mitotic figures. And uh, some of the melanocytes have really atypical, ugly looking nuclei. Also this one. Uh, doesn't look very nice. And let's take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, mitotic figures in uh, one small area. We always need to measure the thickness of the intradermal component. And uh, this distance in millimeters is the basis for the so-called Breslow stage. So the lateral spreading of the melanoma is not that clinically important as uh, the vertical type of growth. And if the melanoma is associated with metastasis, uh, then the prognosis is much worse. In some cases, the metastatic disease can occur uh, many years after the resection of the primary lesion. So this was a brief description of melanoma. Thanks for watching.